Newly discovered footage purportedly showing 22-year-old Palestinian Mohammed Habali being shot in the head from behind last week was released yesterday by human rights group Betzele, and it appears to completely contradict initial IDF accounts. Habali, who is both mentally and physically disabled, suffered a bullet wound to the head on December 4th in the West Bank town of Tulkarem, and he was later pronounced dead upon arrival at the hospital. Now initially, the IDF reported that Habali was killed during a violent riot in which live fire was used to disperse the rock-throwing crowd. But the new CCTV footage gathered and released by Betselem shows from four different angles the moment Habali falls to the ground, and there is no such riot in the video. In fact, the area appears to be fairly calm with just a few Palestinians walking casually around. Suddenly, the people on the street scatter, but Habali, who uses a walking stick, couldn't move in time and was shot from behind. Later, three soldiers are seen leaving the area without offering any medical assistance. The IDF has since restated their story that these soldiers in the area were responding to a disturbance in the area in which Habali was caught in unintentionally. The army has also stated that its investigation is ongoing, however, and that when it is complete, the military prosecution will examine the evidence. But Betselem again pressed the IDF in their statement accompanying the video, saying that the army only responded when the killing was made public, and that contrary to the army's statement, quote, the soldiers are seen walking unhurriedly, the Palestinians are seen talking amongst themselves, and then the soldiers fatally shot Habali in the head from a considerable distance. The lethal shooting was not preceded by a warning, was not justified, and constitutes a violation of the law, end quote.